Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to be fishing in a redfish tournament. Biggest fish wins catch and release tournament. But before we get started, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and of course subscribe to us here on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazards. It's tournament morning, legal time just started. We're gonna put baits out, uh, a lot of boats in the tournament. So it'll be a pretty interesting event. Can't wait to see what happens, so stay tuned. That's a big bait. Trap River Seafood. Big old mullet, got brine on them so they look pretty fresh. So slice a chunk off of them. one down. The redfish are bottom feeders. The current's pretty bad up top and stuff. I mean, yeah, you can hit them on top water and shallow water, but out here they like to feed right on the bottom. So this weight puts our baits right down at the bottom where they like to feed. A beast of a spread out. More lines is better, right? Statistically, I'm thinking the more lines I have out, the more fish I'm going to catch got outriggers, got downriggers, I've got just regular rods. Hey guys, we're out here on the water waiting to catch a big redfish for the tournament. It's kind of slack tide right now so not much is going on. Been slow for everybody. <clears throat> but today we're doing a catch and cook. Now most people refer to a catch and cook, you see a lot of them, and they're more like a catch than cook. Okay, they catch the fish then they go and cook them. But no, we're doing a catch and cook because we're fishing and we're cooking. Slide bite, Dad. So what what do we got going on here, Dad? All right, we got we got some of those sausages on the grill. Yeah, we're gonna cook back here. Good thing about it is it keeps me warm too because it's kind of chilly out here. <laughs> but we'll cook these up and we'll gnaw on those for a little bit. And then we got some uh, we got some cold fried chicken. Just a little bit. <laughs> and it don't oh. have to be cold. No. So we can take it in there and put it on the grill and warm it up if we have to. Mm -hmm. so, so what all do you do to these sausages? Put them on the grill. There we go. Now that's a good catch and cook. That's a recipe anyone can that's follow. That's right. Anybody can follow that. Just pay attention. <laughs> put them on the grill. Uh, yeah, we'll probably get a fish on, be catching fish, and boom. Have some uh, burnt sausages. Exactly. Well, back there, and yeah, hey, we're not beyond using sausages for bait. If yeah. nothing else works, we'll cut a chunk of sausage and throw them out there. You know? put, put a sausage on that sorrel hook. Not only that, if the crabs ain't catching fish, we'll take the crabs and put them on the ground eating crabs. That's true. Yeah. Might be eating some uh, some some blue crab, uh -huh. some grilled mullet. Yeah, yeah we'll them. make we'll make it work. <laughs> we'll have to wake up Kayla and get her into the thing going. How do you guys like the, uh, I call it the hazardous hammock? You know, I like that. Who needs bean bags? Just what do you, what do you, what do you guys think that'll do in about four foot seas headed out to the ledge? <laughs> you think that'd take a beating? I wonder if it'd even hold up. It'd be interesting to see with it. Yeah. This tournament's interesting in that it's not a boat tournament. It's a per angler tournament. So basically each of us are competing against each other for the biggest fish so I could win or my dad could win or Kayla could win it's or all three of us, three of us could win. yeah we, we could win first second or third third fourth fifth something like that not the same one so there's a little bit of competition amongst us right, right here oh. there we go we may have to cut the heat back there a little bit huh did we bring any uh bread 
was going to say uh, silverware. I know. <laughs> yeah, they, I do have a fillet knife. We have to eat it the old fashioned way, <laughs> caveman. <laughs> Grab it. So it's a very simple kill. recipe, guys. Don't need no seasoning. You just need a little fire and a little sausage and your fishing gear out so you can catch and cook at the same time. All right, guys. Dang. Oh, yeah, that's probably why this drag's loose. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, guys, first fish of the day. We're catching and cooking up front. Oh, there he goes. Man, they got a bite, we got a bite. Let's see, that was on the uh, cut mullet. Oh, oh. It's like he's, he's in this white one a little bit. This white one. Ah, uh, oh, careful, he hit me in the head with the head. Okay, he's out of it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. First fish in the boat. Nose on the piece. What do you weigh? I don't He's uh, about 37 and a half. All right, that was mine. Let's see. Let's see what everyone else can do. Let's see, if we can't pull a few more up now. There you go. This. We got a flame now. What time is it? It is sausage time. We just caught a nice redfish. What, 37? Yeah. And we're gonna. Eat a sausage and hopefully get it done before the next one comes along. You ready? It's not too bad. <laughs> Hot. The leaderboard has been set. What, what was first place? 42? 42 and a quarter. 42 and a quarter is what we have to beat. Last year, I think a 41 and three quarters one or something. Maybe it was 43. Have a good time eating you know, sausages, chilling on the hammock. <laughs> it's a little cold. Cold, a little cold. I was saying the grill is the only thing keeping me warm. Yeah. Now it's off. Need a little fire barrel in here. That's good. I got food. Is they true? Catch and cook. But not what we're catching. I believe the proper pronunciation for that would be a catch and then cook. Ready for another piece? Pretty oh, yeah. good stuff, I would. Mm -hmm. Don't worry folks, we cleaned we cleaned that fillet knife before we used it. About three weeks ago that thing was cleaned up nice. We've only even fished what four times yeah. since we used cleaned it, but it's got some fish. They say when you they say when you clean it it's good for what? Five trips before you have to clean yeah. it again. Yeah, I believe so. There's plenty of omega threes on that bad boy. All right, guys. Next fish on. Kayla is up. How about the fans? Let's see. I don't like clicker. Okay. All right, Kayla, turn his head. Dang it, little, little dude just... Yeah. This guy just wants it. Uh -oh. Got it. I got it. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, leader. Close. Keep it out later. There you go. Now uh, walk up. And then that'll. Oh, careful. Walk up a little further, Kayla. So he's out of the way of that downrigger. There we go. Pretty red, copper color fish. What do you think, Kayla? What's your guess? 37. 37. Maybe 36. Thinks we got a 37. Alright, the bite's going, so let's. Dad's getting the baits out, looks good. 37. Okay guys, 10 o'clock, we have till three, kind of slowed down. Tide kind of came in fast, now it's a little slower. It's kind of weird today. It's supposed to be slack tide soon, so if once things get rolling, hopefully uh, fishing will pick up and then just the big fish will come by us. So, that's all you can do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good fish. That's good. Alrighty guys. On and off, but uh, now we're on, so that's good. That's shallow. shallow one, we have a crab and a fish bite. I'm not making much progress on him. That's a good thing. Yeah, got a little bit on. Barely. But once we once we get him up, he'll come easier. Feels pretty good. Something's gone. Yeah. Hopefully a big red, but let's see here in a little bit. Dang, he's just kind of sitting there. Current's definitely on this side. It feels a little heavier than that one. Seems like it. I mean, I haven't fought one on this reel yet, so. Uh oh, there we go. These fish must be moving in schools. The way, you know. You get boom, 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 you get oh, hit. Just came off, I think. Oh, you come off? Yeah. I'm making a little bit of headway. How close are you? Um, hard to say, but I made some progress, so. Oh, there he is. Been the longest fight, which doesn't make sense. I don't know why he was so hard to get in. That fish put up a good fight. Not near as big as I'd hoped. I don't know why he was so hard to get in. Not what he weighed. I think it's his drag or something. I don't know. And he is. Another cookie cutter, 36 inch fish. Awesome. 
guys listen it was our lucky day today we haven't caught a toad like this all season and look at what we did we came in here fishing the redfish tournament we haven't won it but man we sure did to get us a nice toad fish look at that bad boy looks like your mother-in-law don't it well guys unfortunately we didn't catch the tournament winning fish we were looking for no, but we had six nice redfish yeah we did have six fish what was the bonus and a big toadfish. And we had a toadfish. Too bad I wasn't a toadfish tournament. We'll be bragging about that for days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so far, it looks like the big fish is going to be 42. Fortunately, uh, our biggest was like 37-ish. Yeah. So, um, you know, kind of a kind of a weird day, real hazy, dark, and slow day. We're getting mm -hmm. about one an hour, and then I guess the last hour and a half or something, we ain't got any, have we? Yeah. And uh, the. Uh, we had a couple break-offs and mm -hmm. lost a couple more, but but other, not, still not a bad day though. Yeah. Especially as nasty as it was, you know. Yeah. Got out, caught some fish, had fun. Me, Dad, and Kayla all in the tournament. Uh, had some grilled sausages. That's right. Catch and cook, baby. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.